evening internet. So I made a light laser activated relay switch today. While I was working on it all weekend pretty much, uh, I uh, did it without the use of a potentiometer. So that made things a little bit interesting, but I got done nonetheless. So let me show you basically the setup here. Okay, where do we start? Okay, here is the lab power supply I made. You can check out that in the, my video I made two years ago. So <clears throat> we're working with three sets of voltages here. We're working with 5 volts, 12 volts, and 120 volts for uh, AC right from the wall. Um, essentially what this box does is deliver 5 volts along this rail here, which powers... Uh, that bit of circuitry there and it also powers a laser beam which is over here uh, this oh, I don't know if you could see it's kind of dark uh, I, I can't really shine any light on it per se anyway yeah this laser beam here uh, I actually got from the dollar store is a laser pointer that I just took apart and um, it's connected to an ethernet jack or a piece of a ethernet card that I broke out of a laptop just using the pinouts and um, that's being connected by way of a ethernet cable that runs along my bed here and it plugs into the opposite end over here which I have another ethernet card and I just basically have uh, two wires for power for the laser soldered onto the pins of the Ethernet card. I didn't want to break apart a uh, my ca uh, cable. I just haven't had these lying around, so I used that. Um, <clears throat> so that gets powered by the twelve by the five volts. There's the Ethernet uh, laser there. That gets powered by five volts. And then uh, what happens is I have two resistors here. One resistor is a 330 ohm resistor for the LED. The other resistor is a significantly higher one uh, for the rest of the circuit. And how this actually works is inside this box here, there's a photo uh, resistor or an LDR or light dependent resistor. That you see the legs of it sticking out the back there? And that's the green wires and then, uh, that comes into my circuit here. And basically, the laser shines through this hole to keep a constant beam on the LDR. When the beam is broken, of course, the resistance in the circuit goes up. And uh, just using this other resistor here, there's a little bit of equation involved for such. Uh, it turns on um, this transistor, which powers this relay. Now it doesn't power directly. Uh, this basically this set of the circuitry here only provides enough base electricity when the beam is broken to activate the base of this transistor which turns on this blue wire which is a 12 volt power coming from my 12 volt source here. When that happens that activates the relay. There's a protection diode there for the relay. That activates a relay which is plugged into the, uh, the AC mains and into my lamp. So there's my lamp. So let's, let's turn this on and uh, I'll show you exactly what it does. Okay, so we turn on this power bar actually powers the, uh, the lamp which you see there and my power supply which is that one there so we'll just go ahead and turn that on we also need to turn on the power supply which powers the rest of the circuit so there's that and now you see nothing is happening right now but the laser is on I don't know if you can see the laser and there's a laser beam that's there shining into that photoresistor <clears throat> now the lamp is off right now because there's a continuous beam from the laser shining into the photo cell. Now if I put my hand in the way to block it, 
the light goes on. And there's the laser right there. And if I don't block it, the uh, light turns off. So that's pretty much all I've been working on. Um, one of my friends, uh, Daryl, actually asked if this was going to be used as part of another project I was building, which is uh, a Tesla coil. And uh, I gave it some thought, and this would actually be a really cool Tesla coil controller. Um, this circuitry bundled up with the other operating circuitry from the Tesla coil, this could be like a safety thing. So basically you have to be standing at a, in a, at a certain point to break the laser beam contacts in order for the Tesla coil to start to power up which could be a safety feature because you don't want to be standing too close to a Tesla coil when it's going off otherwise you get electrocuted and possibly die actually more probably die so I think that would be implemented as, as a bit of a safety feature when I do get around to building a Tesla coil but for right now it's just a cool a really cool light controller So, let me know what you guys think of that, and uh, that's pretty much all it does. Alright, have a good day.